Toilet Philosophy, Episode 5. Talking about the power of one. <laughs> oh. Alright, so I don't have to do any blur because apparently there are phones out there in the world where the blur doesn't work and people saw my hairy vagina. So we're gonna pass on that that part of this <laughs> episode from now on. Alright. So first of all, shout out to Mo Media for my fantastic Got Cloud sweatshirt. Quick funny side note, when I was driving today, I had three different thoughts that told me my next toilet philosophy would be in this sweatshirt. And then today I was inspired to talk about the power of one. And here I am in Mo Media's sweatshirt. So, the power of one. Uh, first of all, I wanna also, <laughs> first of all, I'm getting nervous, I'm touching my hair, I cannot think straight. So, first of all, I want to tell you that I'm breaking my own power of one rule by making this video longer than a minute. <laughs> oh, which is funny because I was, I was in the process of recording a one minute video about the power of one and then I realized that there was more than one minute to share so I am already breaking my own rule. Hello, I, I don't always practice what I preach and I'm not sorry about it. Anyhow, um, let's see, what am I telling you here? The power of one. I was inspired today working at a crystal shop and having someone come in and they left with just one crystal. Oh, hold that thought. right now thinking about how powerful this is because 
out of a hundred, there was only one, and she knew it, and she said, that's how it always is. There's always one person who's meant to be there. And I took that message, that very simple message, and I added to it, I, and, I, and I've come to realize that a lot of times we're forcing more, we're forcing extra into our lives, and we're creating a lot of unnecessary debris in our energy. We're being guided to something and we're ignoring it and following the guidance of videos, first and foremost, or the guidance of somebody else's opinions in a book, the guidance of news, the guidance of politicians, the guidance of our parents or our teachers and professors. When the true guidance is within us, always, and it's usually, in fact, I should confidently say it is always the first message that we get. And I just said that. I went to tell you the first, and I saw 555 on the time table there. The power of one is so important. The power of one, especially in relationships, the power of picking one person and really fully loving that person. Um, you know, the power of one, as far as my videos, the power of one minute. I've been learning the power of a one minute video and it is really intense and it's really beautiful. And so the point of this, this drug out message is to tell you that when you're being called somewhere, go there. When you're being called to someone, go to that person. And remember the power of one. Don't get lost in your desires. Oh, I want that. Oh, I've heard this does great things for me. What did you go there for? What are you attracted to? What do you need? What you need is different from what you want, and what you need is always within the power of one. So, at 7-Eleven, that's my power number. That's all I have for y'all for episode five of Toilet Philosophy. I see that this segment is really taking off. We'll see if anyone makes it this far because the average view time on my videos is like a minute and a half, which is obviously not very good, but we're getting there. So if any of you make it this far, drop me a comment that says 7-Eleven and let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about the power of one. And also give me an idea of what you want me to, you would like me to talk about next. Got clout? Got toilet seat covers? No, because I'm not afraid of germs.